Welcome back to the channel for this is Movie Talk with your host, Jonathan Young. So anyway, as you all may know, today is October 31st, 2019. As all you may know, that Disney will be releasing their very own streaming service, which I feel like it's going to be a competitor to Netflix. Which, if you guys do not know, the new Disney streaming service will be called Disney Plus. And today we'll be talking about why I'm really excited about Disney Plus and why I think it's actually a better deal if you're like a more of a Disney fan than a movie fan in general. Why I think Disney will be the best one for me. So anyway, here we go. So anyway, with Disney, they do own like some tons of property that is officially Disney owned. So anyway, before we talk about like some of the things that will be coming into the service this upcoming November, which we got literally less than 12 days away before Disney Plus officially comes out. But anyway, let's just, Disney owns like tons of stuff. Like they, like, I mean, obviously Disney owns Disney, but they also own Pixar's Animation Studios. They own Marvel, Marvel Studios. They own Lucasfilm, which is the makers of Star Wars. And they also own National Geographic. And they also now own 20th Century Fox. But anyway, there'll be tons of endless entertainment with Disney+. Plus. Get the best of Disney, Pixar, Marvel, Star Wars, and National Geographic. Download any TV show or movie. Unlimited downloads on up to 10 devices so you can take your favorites with you. An all for one low price. It's either $6.99 a month or $69.99 a year. No ads, no upcharges, some, some of that is coming to the service. Um, streaming for everyone. Stream four different shows on four different devices at once. Watch on the go or on your TV at home with select titles and stunning 4K. Which I really don't care about 4K. Uh, uh, if you're under my I'm not sure on the Disney Plus website. So anyway, to be exclusive Disney Plus originals, never before seen new movies, TV shows, documentaries, and more from the world's greatest storytellers, only available on Disney Plus. So like some of the ones I can see right here are Star Wars. The Mandarin, a Disney's live-action remake of Lady and the Tramp, and a Christmas movie by the name of Noel. Um, they're also making Disney's High School Musical, the musical, the series, Marvel's Hero Project, and part of the National Geographic, The World According to Jeff Goldblum. Hopefully, I pronounce his name right. That's only on row two. So, that was that would be coming into Disney Plus be Encore. Into the Unknown, making Frozen 2 and Disney's Pixar's Monsters at Work. And some of the other ones be coming into uh, Disney Plus would be Disney's Tell Me Failure, Mistakes Were Made, Marvel Studios. WandaVision and Marvel Studios The Falcon and The Winter Soldier. That's not even it. They will also be having Star Wars, The Clone Wars, Marvel Studios What If, and Marvel Studios Loki. Um, and yeah, they also have all three seasons of Simpsons. The first family of Springfield is here along with 21st Century Fox classes such as The Sound of Music and more. So, um, yeah. And then they have like a little countdown launch, like literally in 11 days, 13 hours, and 
49 minutes remaining until the launch of the Disney Plus streaming service. So anyway, now let's talk about why I'm really excited for the service. Uh, I think it's actually better for me as a Disney, Pixar, and Marvel fan. Because Netflix don't really have that much Disney content on there. I mean, they do have like some Disney con content, but some things that are not on Dis on Netflix will be cut. Will be coming to Disney Plus, which has a huge benefit for me, because you're gonna have tons of classic movies. Like they're gonna have like their very first full-length animated movie that has ever been released by Disney, which is gonna be called Snow White and the Seven Doors. And they're also gonna have uh, Cinderella. They're gonna have Aladdin. They're gonna have Beauty and the Beast, The Little Mermaid. Tons and tons of Disney classes will be coming to the service known as Disney Plus. That's also not it. They're gonna have tons of Marvel content as well. But so I noticed they're like missing like two movies that's part of the Marvel Cinematic Universe from like that three hour long video that Disney released that says basically everything is coming to Disney Plus, which they are missing the 2008 movie The Incredible Hulk and the 2010 movie Iron Man 2. And I do know Iron Man 2 is owned by Disney because they own Iron Man and they also own Iron Man 3. But the Incredible Hulk, I don't think will be coming to Disney Plus because the fact is Disney, uh, the Incredible Hulk is still owned by Universal. That's the same thing with Spider-Man Homecoming and Spider-Man for a moment. I don't think they'll be coming to the, to the Disney Plus service. But the fact is the Spider-Man as a character is technically, the movie rights of Spider-Man is still owned by by Sony. While Disney has some rights to Spider-Man, but they don't own the movie rights for Spider-Man. Disney can do like TV shows and stuff like that with Spider-Man, but besides that, they can't really make any movies. So I don't feel like any of uh, like, maybe none of them, like maybe Spider-Man, Spider-Man 2, Spider-Man 3, The Amazing Spider-Man, The Amazing Spider-Man 2. Spider-Man Homecoming and Spider-Man Far From Home definitely probably would not be making it to the service. I mean, they can always work out a deal with Sony where they can have Spider-Man Homecoming and Spider-Man Far From Home on the service. Uh, so, um, yeah. Um, that is like literally everything coming to the service. That, like, some of the things I am really interested in, and that's not even everything on the Disney's original side of things. Like, they're, like, um, they also announced like they're making like a Forky show, like uh, called Ask Forky, and then they're making like a She-Hulk one, and then like they're making like a Moon Knight and a bunch of other ones. Like some of the other ones, I don't think will be coming to uh, Disney Plus. Like maybe um, like the Marvel Netflix original self television series, because of that maybe maybe not. I don't really know, but. Um, some of the other ones I know that Disney technically owns, but I don't think will be coming to the service because of the ratings. Um, because they, if you guys don't know, Disney bought out 20th Century Fox. And I just found out that with, with the buyout of 20th Century Fox, Disney uh, should now owns uh, the Diary of a Kid movie series. So, if you guys don't know, Diary of a Kid would actually be coming to Disney+. Plus. I mean, it's in that three hour long video. I mean, I haven't even watched the whole thing yet, and I just... Notice that Diamond Kill will be going to Disney Plus, which. Um, one, like, a movie I don't know will be coming to Disney Plus would be Miss Doubtfire. I don't know, that might be more of the advanced PG 13 rating that I don't feel like Disney might not be going for. And I mean, it's not on that three hour long video that Disney released that said basically everything is coming to Disney Plus. So you don't have Miss Doubtfire on there. They don't have like Night at the Museum or any other stuff like that. And uh, also Home Alone was missing. Which I had, I've had i heard rumors that Disney would be making like a new Disney Plus uh, Home Alone remake. Which that might be in the words. I really don't know. I also heard that they're making like a Night at the Museum remake. Which um, I mean they are making a Doolittle remake. But I guess that's by Universal. Which I guess Robert Downey Jr. is signed on to play Dr. Doolittle now. Um, so that's kind of interesting. Uh, I do want to do is like some more of like the trailer reaction videos like I used to do in the long, 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 long time ago. Hopefully I could be able to bring those back now upcoming. But 
Um, yeah. Um, there's like a lot of stuff coming to Disney Plus. In fact, I really want to make a video of saying like pretty much like what everything is that we're coming to Disney Plus service. Hopefully, make it a much shorter video than the the Disney three hour video that Disney released. But anyway, I just want to say before I officially end this particular video is I have dropped Netflix to go to Disney Plus. I just feel like for me as a Disney fan that loves that watches like tons of Disney watches Pixar movies all the time and loves watching Marvel movies, not just Spider Man, but like Guardians of the Galaxy and I do watch like Captain America, Civil War, stuff like that. I do watch tons of Marvel stuff that Marvel made and some of them coming to Disney Plus, which I'm really excited about. And then they're also gonna have like Star Wars uh and the Star Wars episode four, A New Hope, Star Wars episode five, The Empire Strikes Back, uh Star Wars episode six Revenge of the Return of the Jedi, um, Star Wars Episode 1, The Phantom Menace, Star Wars Episode 2, Attack of the, Attack of the Clones, Star Wars Episode 3, uh, Revenge of the Sith, I think it was called, or something like that, um, Star Wars Episode 7, The Force Awakens, uh, Rogue One, A Star Wars Story, uh, Star Wars Episode 8, The Last Jedi, and Solo, A Star Wars Story, will all be coming to the Disney Plus service on Day 1. So anyway guys, this is my third take of recording this video. Anyway guys, hope you have a good, fantastic day. I hope you have a good Halloween. And see you guys on the next video of Jonathan Young's Movie Talk. See you guys next time. Alright, bye. And go ahead, and here is the question of the day. Will you guys be picking up the Disney Plus video streaming service that will launch on November 12th? 2019 let me know in the comments in the comment section down below if it would be kind of you guys give this video a big thumbs up Go ahead and hit the subscribe button hit the little bell notification as well be the first one to know every single time I upload a brand new video. All right. See you guys next time. All right. Bye